uh, a lot stiff. of the um, what? Yeah, uh, it's gonna look. That's what mine's gonna look like when I die. <laughs> Just stiff <laughs> and frozen. Yeah. Um, I can't touch my toes. Me neither. I, I, I would can't. say. I would say, Dan, can you touch your toes? I can touch my toes. Yes, you can. So I do. One I in, stretch. We, we're one in four. <laughs> I stretch. I stretch. I don't I think Zell toes. can touch his kneecaps. In I will. St- Honestly, he's so unflexible. But it, like, yeah, I don't. When you weight train and shit like that's hard to be flexible. My hammies are always tight. I've got tight hammies. Well, yeah. that's where you got it. it but isn't hands. that where like isn't that where like eighty percent of injuries are because of inflexibility? Is yeah, damn. honestly, <laughs> no, not necessarily. There's actually like there's there's like detriments to being too flexible, especially with like weight training and stuff like yeah. that. Or if you're too flexible, you get more prone to uh, ACL, MCL, and honestly, LCL tears. My muscles are so tight at all time; it's holding everything together. So it's right. like Absolutely. there is yeah. no injuries because my muscles <laughs> are. Keeping... That's not true though, because you're injured all the time. No, no, not anymore. You don't have any ligaments left in either knee. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> because and that's why bone. my that's why my muscles are all tight all the time. It's because they're my muscles <laughs> are doing it. all the ligament work. Uh, well, then you you might have been related to Maria and these uh, these tiny and creatures Victoria. because uh, <laughs> they no, he's got a head. That's true. Maria Victoria had a head, and head. the other one had a head oh, as well. Okay, okay, they both okay, had heads. okay, okay. okay. Uh, uh, my favorite my favorite part of the um, whoops. That's a bit. The one of my favorite parts about this is like going uh, going through these videos, and I'm pretty sure I had watched these before. Like I feel like I had watched these before, but I, <laughs> I went back and watched these again. And um, my favorite part is when they're doing the 3D scan. They're doing a 3D scan X-ray of the bodies, and it, it's it's fun to watch at least one of the uh, the experts. Uh, I think it was the. Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Natalia Zolosna, uh, might've been her, uh, going through here and being like, we got spine, we got legs. Yes, you do. <laughs> like, we got a spine. Super, yeah. yeah. We got spine. We got, we got legs. legs. I'm like, cool. I can see that. <laughs> you know, they're like, yeah, we um, carried it in here. <laughs> and, uh, going through the x-ray is like, uh, Hey Dan, like, just before we go through the x-rays, let's take a mm-hmm. quick beer break and we'll be right back to go, uh, yeah, I need a drink. <laughs> through all these. We're back. <laughs> and now we're going to take that deep x-ray dive into the, yeah. uh, these, <laughs> these alien mommies. Uh, we got to see what's inside these creatures. Yeah. Um, we, <laughs> they flash like when when they do these shows and they they do these productions. It's always real fun because they'll flash these X rays like up on the up on the screen and they'd be like, "Oh, amazing discoveries uh, made of these." inhuman structures and they're and they'll show like x-rays like of course like you can't show the x-rays that look like they're human like you can't show the ones that are like oh that could probably may or may not be a human you have to you have to sell it with the with the x-ray of the the hands because that, the hands yeah are the hands look because those are up. fucking weird they're all yeah weird and gross and um and they show those x-rays and like i'm i'm not an i'm not a Bone expert. I'm not a, a, a expert. You're bone not a wrangler. bone wrangler. You're a bone I'm not wrangler. An expert bone wrangler. All right. Amateur bone wrangler. Maybe you know, like at best. <laughs> uh, but like, you look at those X-rays of those hands, and they just look like. At least, like where where I get what are those your metatarsals and stuff, like where your palm is, like all the stuff that's in there, like all that complicated structure of like where the fingers connect to the hands. It, I, that. In those x-rays of the, of these Maria's hands, it just looks like a bunch of jumble, jumbly, jumbly jumbles. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't, Is I'll that the scientific? It. Just, a, just a fucking mishmash. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I mean, if it, if it were something like, okay, if it were something like we found these bodies and the, the hands had some sort of evidence of trauma, like they had been crushed like by a rock yeah. or something, you know, I'd be like, oh, okay, that makes sense of what I'm looking at. But then when they're just like, these things are perfectly preserved and it's like, dude, that hand is like just their bones like sticking out at right angles and like weird, like all kind of crisscrossing across each other. Uh, I was like, that's, that's not. I don't think anything would work like that. Something's (laughs) something's amiss here. Something's a little strange. Um, uh, So one of the theories that kind of pops up like while they're doing this, like, okay, maybe, okay. If they're, if they're alien, sure. That's a possibility. But another possibility is like, these things are, uh, uh, 
uh, at least this is what Dr. Konstantin Korotkov kind of came up with their, the theory that these are these are bio robots. Like these are, uh, they, they may not exactly be aliens, but they are something that was either constructed by extraterrestrials, uh, and, and in order to serve some type of, uh, servile purpose or something like that could, you know, okay. So, sure. so they were constructed with biological pieces. Yes. Like so bio like Frank, robots. Frank, Frankenstein's monster, basically. Right. Like Frankenstein's monster. Uh, something right, like so that. So we need, all right, I got an, okay, listen, this is fucking genius. We're advanced civilization. We're aliens. We're smart as fuck. We've got elongated skulls. We've got three fingers. We're fucking tip top. We're the guys. Right. We need these people to build a pyramid for us. Whatever the fuck. Big job. A lot of work. So what I'm thinking is we take about like 12 of them. We fucking kill them. <laughs> and then we take pieces from 12 of them to make one of them. Can we do that a thousand <laughs> times? Give this right? man a raise. Give this yeah, man right? more space dollars. Uh, what if we just like make the normal ones do it? You know, we don't have to kill any of them. Then we have more people to do it. Yeah, it's but we, we brought enough. all this. We brought all this yeah. equipment with us. Like you know, it's we just going to sit kill there anything. if we don't. If we don't use it, yeah. you know, we won't. We might not get as if much. We don't funding use it. Next you year. lose it. We might not get as many space dollar funding next year. So that's fair. <laughs> yeah. We should probably use it. Well, that's confused. Like why? Like what do you mean? <laughs> like why like you, Frankenstein it would make more sense if you could like grow them yeah well, th- that's kind of what I thought is is if these are just like some sort of failed hybrid experiments where they're like trying to like you know so you make the little they make the rejects the ugly ones are slaves yeah and they're just like oh this didn't work <laughs> look at his hand something's wrong yeah yeah so like even if these are, are bio robots, even that it's like if you tried to sell that to me, to be like, okay, these are bio robots. I'm like, yeah, but just look at those hands. Like even if I were designing a robot, like a, a like even like a simple robot, like to give me some fucking Lego Technics or something. Like I, that's not what a, a hand would look like or any yeah, type gonna, of. You're, yeah. gonna make, you're gonna make better hands. It wouldn't. Well, look, it wouldn't work like that. <laughs> well, like, and we're that advanced. Hand wouldn't work. <laughs> Why don't we just make a bunch of fucking T1000s? Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that's a valid point to be like, yes, why wouldn't they make a bunch of like weird little like uh, liquid metal uh, oh. robot bio robots? I suppose would be a better when Braden says that maybe like Braden saying like these are the rejects. Maybe that's why we're finding them because it's like remember like fucking you know what do you, terrible example like remember three hundred with that little fucking shitty guy that wanted to be a, sure to be a Spartan yeah. and they just <laughs> toss him off the fucking mountain yeah. right like these are the guys who are like well I only got three fingers this one doesn't even have a fucking head toss him or <laughs> yeah. get rid of him uh, so yeah like uh, toss him in the a, pit uh, uh, yeah. yeah I would say that could be a possibility that you like uh, you know they grew these things and then you know only you know the the <laughs> These aliens that have the ability to travel across the vast distances between stars are, you know, they, they produce one in eight are rejects, like one in eight of their robots that they grow don't come out right. So yeah, but he's got to toss a, one, right? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking is that they were just trying to like, yeah, grow these things based like these biological robots. Maybe they even to take them with them, right? It's like a souvenir. They're like, oh, we'll get some of the biological, we'll make some sort of weird bio robots and then... Uh, Take them with us, and they're like they maybe, did the first one, and they're like, Ugh. maybe these maybe these aren't biological robots, but like we've talked about many times, right? With with uh, I'm not going to say his name because we're going to name drop him all the time, but you know, like for example, that aliens are just us from the future. We've lost the fucking ability to procreate, right? So we, these are just clo- like we're we making forgot our own what clones. fingers look like. <laughs> yeah. well, no, but these, no, no, no. These are the rejects. Right, like you're saying, like so we 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 have to keep the civilizations alive. We have to make our own. Right. We can't just procreate like naturally anymore because whatever the you know the fucking birthing canals have narrowed. Whatever yeah. the heads got too big. I and I would I would I would probably be more on board with that if if these hands like the hand it's just these fucking hands, man. Like I look at these things, they become fixated on them because like you look at these, not just the hands, but the feet too. Uh, these things like they're they're not put together. Right, like they're not. If they were grown, a, if they yeah. were grown, I'd be like, yes, they could. They would. They would probably look a little bit more functional because, like, when you look at these things, it's like, oh, okay. Like, is it supposed to walk? Like, it, there, there's no evidence of like. <laughs> Is this it's, thing supposed to walk? It's slithered. Yeah, even then, it's it's like why do you have these? Why do you have these weird? Because like the toes, right? Okay, so there's the three long fingers and there's these three long toes, which are as as long as, if not like, just a little bit shorter than the fingers, which are like they're like two feet long. They're 
<laughs> gross. Um, but even then, it's like, how would you, how would you walk? Because it would. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.